What is good folks, this is Shelby from Elementary FX and this is going to be my 5th trading journal entry I will be looking at 2 trades that I took this week 1 losing trade on the Euro franc and uh, also a trade that I took yesterday uh, a flag pattern trade which I took profits for about 38.6 pips if I'm not wrong so without further ado, let's look at the first trade that I took we're looking at the Euro franc on the 4 hour chart and um, I actually did an analysis video on this uh, in my previous video where I identified the Gutley pattern and I was looking to trade it. I set a buy limit order slightly above the decompletion leg where I got filled and uh, price went up in my favor, reached a 38.2% retracement level of the CD leg. And at this point in time, there was news that was uh, stirring about the euro currency, the weakening of it. And I got a bit insecure about that. I got taken aback by the news. And uh, because of that, um, I got influenced and then um, I broke even, I moved my stop stop loss to where I, I got filled in the market. So uh, I was hoping that price would not actually um, retest the decompletion leg again, but hopefully consolidate slightly above the decompletion leg and then move up where I would take profits at a 6.8% retracement level of the CD leg. But unfortunately, price um, went short. As you can see, very bearish move. Um, in the next candle over here and I got stopped up for zero pips alright so um, I would say this was a losing trade for me even though I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't suffer a loss because I would have uh, been up a modest 55 pips if I wasn't if I wasn't too um, influenced by the news uh, but nevertheless this was a good uh, learning learning lesson for me uh, I should never take the news uh, so seriously next time you should always trust your analysis. And uh, for whoever who didn't move their stops, uh, who, who weren't influenced by the news, would have been um, would have been in on this very, very good Gutley pattern trade. So, um, all right, so I'm going to talk about my next trade that I took this week, which is the Aussie Franc. And we're looking at the 30 minute chart on this. Alright, um, when I saw this chart yesterday, price uh, price made a bullish, very bullish move upwards and was um, consolidating into this channel over here, which formed a which formed a, which formed a bullish flag, and I saw this a, as an opportunity to enter the market, and uh, when price broke out, I set a buy limit order slightly below where uh, where I would predict price would retest that area of structure before making its way out. So I set a buy limit order at where price was at 0 0.73, 6 by 9. And um, price did retest this area structure a number of times. Um, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4. And on the fourth time, it, uh, it respected it. Uh, price reversed, made a very strong bullish move upwards where I took profits for about 38.6 pips. If, um, for those of you who would like to know uh, how I determine where I take my profits, I just took the extension of this swing over here, this swing low, swing high, took the extension, and I set it at the 1 to 7.2% extension of that swing. So yes, this was uh, a very good uh, flag pattern trade, very simple, uh, not much analysis needed. And um, if uh, for those uh, new traders who would like to would like to learn more about trading the flag um, you can definitely look at our trading our advanced trading trading course where we actually look uh, at how you can uh, in detail how you can trade the flag so um, so yeah that's it for this this will be the end of my my, my fifth trading journal entry hope you guys enjoyed it hope to give you guys better content in future I'll see you guys in the next one